Welcome back. Today I'm going to pick up where I left off on the door fabrication with one particular challenge. How do I put a door handle in this door? Let's pull the skin off and see what the problem is. We want to put a door handle up here, but we have a window in the way because the latch is on the inside. So how do we go around that? Well, clever little invention called a bell crank. Now here's the door latch. This is the standard bear claw latch. What you see right here is known as a bell crank. What this does is it's a mechanical device that changes direction. If you pull down in this direction, then you have a motion in that direction. It all happens through a pivot. That's one bell crank. Door handles I'm going to be using have two more. Right here, you have, you pull this latch down, and you can see there's a rotational motion here. It pulls this motion going down to a motion going that way. Changes the right angle. There's actually another one on the top here as well. Pivots here. Motion going that way makes that motion go up. So a lot of things moving around. How does that connect one side to the other? Well, I made another bell crank. This is just out of a piece of bent metal, some bolts, a piece of aluminum that I've cut, and it all pivots together like that. So this changes the motion up and down from up on one side to down on the other. This little guy is going to sit right here in the door frame. I have another one from the other side. What I'm using is I'm using these turnbuckles as adjustable links to connect on one side to connect the latch bell crank to the bottom bell crank and on the outside to connect the other side to the door latch bell crank. That door latch is going to sit approximately right here. So as I pull up on this It'll pull this rod up, that rod will pull this up, the other side will pull down, it'll pull down on the latch, and that will open the door. What could possibly go wrong? By the way, this is a latch off of a first generation Mazda Miata. Uh, very flush mounting. This is going to go up about here on the Victorus. And you can see the attachment rod that comes down is already bent. Move this a little bit. It's already bent. And it's bent pretty close. Yeah, it looks like it comes right outside the, uh, the door frame bar. So I just need to put on a piece of threaded rod to connect to the turnbuckle, which will be sitting right below it. And that should work fine. There's another attachment point here on this bell crank inside the door. This is for the inside door latch. You'll put a rod starting here going forward to wherever I end up mounting an inside door latch here. Okay, now I have everything together inside the door. So we have the latch, turnbuckle, bell crank, another turnbuckle. We have the threaded rod, which I've connected to the threaded rod that came on the latch. And I have the latch 
I don't have the brackets yet in place to secure this to the skin, so I just have the handle um, taped on from the outside. You can see here, there's clearance down between the door skin and the door structure. I have to bend the rod a little bit here and there, but it fits all the way down. Here's the door handle. But does it work? It will work.